So I think we might be lost. Hey? We're totally lost. I, if we're following maps and everything, like we're, we're surrounded by the quasi desert, but we were in these pockets, these valleys, and, and we were on an ATV trail with a big Jeep. <laughs> Those they're like sandy. I was like, oh, we're going to get stuck. You're like, nope. It's funny how plans change. Right? We wanted to park and hike in through the cactus and yeah. everything, but we had we we got down in a canyon about five six miles back. Yeah, and we can't get out, and we're in it right now. This is this is right in the bottom of this uh, old riverbed. Yeah, and there's sheer cliffs on this side and the other side. Yeah, like it's it's fun it's fun to go hiking and leave the vehicle. One, we're not leaving the vehicle because we're in uh, diamondback rattlesnake territory, scorpions. If something were to happen, you know, either one of us gets bitten, we need to be able to get out of here. We're not hiking in here. Plus to hike in here, you're talking about going over mountains. We got camera gear, we got everything. There's no way, like, there's no way getting inside here we drove from for, where we were. We drove for four hours on dirt roads, donkey trails. Crazy in, cliffs. Just to get to here. Yeah. And we gotta try and find our way. We wanted to find a flat area because there's awesome cactus everywhere Yeah, yeah. Here. Huge, like 20, 30 feet, uh, foot high cactus, you yeah. know? Monster size. Yeah. Where we're gonna push on, we're gonna head back to the Jeep. We've been looking for a supposed cabin somewhere around here, but Can't we couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't find it. And I'm like, well, whatever. It's just a remnants or a ruins of it. And I'm starting to get hungry, dude. Yeah. I am starting to get hungry. So we need to go and, and explore a little bit more, but uh, start thinking about having chow. dude and then we got cactus for the crotch my god this whole yeah I just led you to a good area look at that this whole nice area, and open this whole area wants to kill me I'm serious deer walk through here and cows yeah well they lived here all their lives I'm very delicate it's not only the thorns though dude it's like I'm cognizant of the fact that there's tarantulas, scorpions, and rattlesnakes. Hey, the road. Yeah, this is the, what the road looked like. Yeah, this is a nice one. <laughs> this is a good road. Ouch. <laughs> so, uh, what happened here, Meaty? I was setting up the camera for some neat little shots. And yeah, I, oh, I can see those, dude. I didn't see this little ball, it was like a ball. Boom! Stuck to my pants and I pulled it out and then I still felt it. Is that what that blood patches? You're that still was good? a yeah, they're barbed. So on the inside, I was trying to pull these out. See how it's barbed. Oh yeah. Oh oh. Dude, oh, geez. you got a few in there, eh? Is there? I, now I know I need a better set of tweezers in my med kit. Oh 
my jeez, dude. <laughs> Look at that, the blood coming out there. Oh, wow, they just rip. They're like miniature barbs in there. I have a good picture of the plant, though. <laughs> <laughs> this is what did it to me. The first time I pulled out bled like that, it was like a long, a quarter inch long. Yeah. And it's like, as you pull it, your skin's like <laughs> It's like, I feel, now I know what fish feel like, getting gilled. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. Well, but it doesn't, it's not like stingy, poison, nothing. It's just like I got needled. Yeah. And then you pull them out. If you don't get them out, they're going to irritate you, though. Like you. <laughs> so how does it feel? Uh, it's actually painful. I don't know why you didn't, I didn't hear you go, ah, because this is actually killing me right okay, now. Don't move. Dude! Don't oh, move. Why don't you let me do it? No. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Don't move. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Oh. Oh my God, that's painful. Hold on. Oh, it's like you just ripped out a thousand fish hooks out of my leg. They're still in there too, so oh. you have to pull your pants down. That's not cool. That's not cool. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, you have to grip I those. I told you it's got a barb in it. It takes your skin with you. Ah! You think you have the skin, but you don't, because it's no. pulling so hard. Oh my god, these tweezers suck. Yeah, I gotta get some better tweezers. I do have antiseptic and everything, though. Got a little piece there. Yeah. Oh, this is a big one. Hey, where do we see any others? I think I did a pretty good job pulling it out. Yeah, because it was painful as all get-go. When you pulled it out, I, it felt like my whole leg was being pulled this way. It was excruciatingly painful. What are you doing? <laughs> Lighting a fire while I'm exhausted. Are you tired? Freaking, aren't you tired? I am beyond tired. Yeah, I use your middle name Cactus. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna sleep well tonight, I can tell you that. Awesome. Got some good piles here of stuff. Whatever this stuff is, not sure. It's it's cool though the environment is as I shouldn't say dangerous. I mean it's potentially dangerous with rattlesnakes, but as treacherous as it is, everything has a thorn here, man. From tiny ones to barbed ones, like everything can get you. And that's the thing you don't think about is it's not just, you know, the regular stuff that you deal with, but all the bushes, all the all the bushwhacking, mm. everything's got a thorn on it. Yeah, yeah. And it all has your name on it. Apparently it does. I got scratches, I got cuts all over myself. Yeah. But you know what? It was freaking awesome. It's an awesome place though. Yeah, the desert has a vibe about it, you know? Well, anytime you go to a new place, like th those giant cactus, and then some of them that we saw were like 30 feet tall. Like they were just monsters. Yeah. Monsters. All right. Now I'm gonna try, you know, I'm going to try shooting them down, holding the steel and striking it with the flint. Because I do remember some comments, some, talking, some about comments that. talking about that. I'm nice. like, all right, we'll give it a shot. This tin needs some, needs some scratches on it, though. It needs yeah. It needs some wear and tear on it, you know? That's right. Just throw, throw it down. I like the magnifying glass thing. It's yeah, pretty it's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so... 
It was like scraping this downward. Okay. Was the... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's already yeah. going. I saw it go right down on top of it. Nice. Here we go. Up in this stuff here. Come on, come on. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Whoa, wind, wind's picking up. Nice preparation too on the on the on your other pieces. You know, a lot of nice small Get the pieces. Small pieces going into pencil size and then bigger. It's once it goes, you want it to go. After six days of adventuring, hundreds of hours, thousands of miles, on our last night, last day, we decided to find some comfort because our backs are spent. I'm um, sick of eating like uh, MREs, camp food. That stuff sucks. Yeah. Well, some of it's okay, but you know what? If you do it once in a while, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but, but twice, two of those meals every single day yeah oh man we were down in a valley down there and we thought it'd be a good spot but you know what we decided to make a fire right here by where we parked whip out some chairs yeah and have some kebabs kebab time all right so you ready with your thing i'll i'll divvy this up to you you ready yep yep thank you friend <laughs> smells good if you see the glistening of deliciousness. So what I've learned is that this particular region, the deserty big cactus, is there's like five different types of cactus around here that friggin' attacks you. The low level ones, the barbed ones that got both you and I. I was laughing at you. It's like a, a baseball size. Oh man, they're brutal. They're brutal and they hurt. When you, you're like, this is gonna hurt. I'm like, okay, yeah, I know it's stinging now. Mm -hmm. But when you pull it out, it's like, it's pulling my whole calf skin. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God, that's horrible. You got the big ones, which look majestic. Mm -hmm. You know, those really tall ones, some of them 30 feet tall. You got the, the low level ones, kind of like just on the ground. Then you got the, uh, flat what is that? ones, like the, the flat Yeah, what is that? One? The prickly pear? Prickly pear, prickly pear ones. There's all sorts of things. And, and the bushes, the bushes all have thorns well, on them. The ones I call like the pipe cleaner looking ones too. Oh right? yeah, the you pipe know? cleaner ones. The They kind of like all scraggly. How is it? How's your meat? Is it good? My meat is great. I'm gonna have this little piece down here. Is it hot? Mm -mm. Good. Mm-hmm, yep. Juicy, tender. So with this kebab, it's like, it's like a steak that's already cut up for you, really. Mm. And we've been, we got lucky recently with our coal management. Yeah. I wasn't sure with these trees, though. We don't even know what they are. <clears throat> but the coals, we got them perfectly cooked, and then their coals are dying down. And so we're letting the meat rest there just under kind of a, a mild heat. I'm done. I ate it. The whole kebab. It was good. Yeah. Tasty. Wasn't as good as our steak, but it was definitely good. It's better than an MRE. It was a thousand times better than the brisket MRE. Mm. So once we got out after four hours and we got, because we were in these canyons, we couldn't hike anywhere. We got up here and we were able to hike out and down and, you know, adventure around, look at yeah. the different cactus. Get out of here. Be one with cactus. <laughs> I don't want to be one with cactus. That dude. thing hurts so bad, dude. Yeah. And it's still stinging. Both, both our legs, where we got that cactus on, still stings. 
So I don't know if there's some sort of poison, not a, like a poison, but there's something that it leaves in there, or maybe it just irritated the nerve endings or something. It's but. for medicinal purposes. Mm. So this area here, where we're, where we're at right now, is about 5,000 feet. We have mountains over here mm. that we were up against and climbing over some of them mm. that are over 7,000 feet. So this is a not just a high desert, which is plains, but this yeah. is mountainous high desert. It's crazy. To hike in here with cameras and all the gear, no way. Well, no way bushes. unless we had multiple. The bushes? Oh, impassable. You can't bush Thorns, right? like thorns like this big. The only ridiculous. time we could really get make some make some headway was on game trails. On well, game trails. And one thing too for safety reasons, I didn't feel comfortable just hiking around everywhere without having the Jeep here because we know there's scorpions, we know there's rattlesnakes. And if either one of us got bit, I mean I'd have to learn how to overland. You'd have to suck the poison out. That's not happening. Well, how long will it take to get out of here? We are losing sun. The sun's about to, the peak where the sun is, is yeah. a 7,000 foot peak. So we're about to lose it in about yeah. 15 minutes. You can see how long the shadows are getting. Mm -hmm. We got an hour and a half to get out of here. So we're gonna be turning on the overheads to get out of here because it's gonna be pitch black. That's no joke. Yeah. Yeah.